Ooh, she eats a frosty one today, you tubes. Tubes. Oh, my hand's even frozen to the door. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do another grimy, really cold start on this poor truck. Uh, and it's not been plugged in. It is. Wow, it's cold out here. I am really not used to this yet. My goodness, this is terrible. Okay, the 6.7 liter Power Stroke diesel hasn't been plugged in. As you can see, there's no footprints in the front of it. Fresh footprints, anyways. Whew. Minus 18. <laughs> That's pretty cold, you know, for two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, it was, you know, like plus 18. So we're gonna try the, here we go. Poor thing. Oh, not even a problem. It was like warm out. It was running fast though. <laughs> it's really running fast. Holy crap, it's cold out here. I guess it hasn't even warmed that turbo up enough yet there. It hasn't started to go. It's noise yet. That's interesting, eh? Wow, we. Now there was a comment left on the last cold start video that I did. If you turn the engine brake switched on, it'll actually warm up faster. I, I don't know anything about that. So if you guys know anything about that, let me know. I'm gonna get inside here. Holy cow, what's it running at, I wonder? Oh, it doesn't show me yet because I don't have the key in. Okay, let's get out. Oh my goodness, it's cold. Holy cow, it's, it's freezing cold. It's running at like 1200 RPM there. <laughs> Holy cow, it's even colder. It says minus 19 there. That's Celsius, of course. Holy crap. So, I don't know, let's turn the engine brake thing on there. Oh, it, it was flashing weird. Let's close the door. I didn't expect it to kind of run up high like that. That's interesting, man. So I'm pushing that button and it's actually not doing anything. Wow. Holy, I wonder if it'll like idle itself down eventually too. At least the seat's on, let's turn the other one off to draw that much power. Holy crap, I'm freaking shivering. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, so anyways, uh, while we're waiting for this to do whatever it's going to do here, um, my little shed building, remember I was working on that. I was going to do do that in my, uh, or sorry, my little generator building. I was going to do that in the shed and get it painted up. Painted. Oh, I can't even talk. It's so cold out here. <laughs> I was going to get it painted and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to do videos on that for you just because it's so freaking cold out right now here and it would take a lot to keep that shed warm enough to paint. So I've got it actually down in my other heated shop there that I'm not allowed to film in and um, I'll do it, uh, I'll do it down there and get it finished up. Holy crap, down there. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I just got to do some painting to it and uh, we'll do some, uh, oh man, this sucks. <laughs> it's not that cold really you know some of you guys way out out west there it's like, this is like a nice summer day for you right minus 19 Ooh, i'm not too sure if i really like this running real fast like that when it's really cold like let's go through the display mode here now tell us so there's transmission temperature right now it's three degrees Sorry for the shake, and I can't do much about it. Holy freaking crap. Engine oil right now is three degrees as well, so they're both about the same. Oh my gosh, this is nasty. Four degrees. So surprisingly, and I was kind of so holy crap. <laughs> Warm up. I was kind of surprised of this, how fast the engine oil heats up oh man sorry for for something that's you know like 
12.3 liters of engine oil that actually heats that up pretty well. Like, look, we're up to seven degrees already. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Eight degrees. Like, that's a lot of oil to heat up fast. So, I don't know if there is some kind of like, oh man, I better not zoom in. It's making it worse. <laughs> I don't know if there is some kind of like heater in the oil pan, but that's a lot of oil to heat up that fast. Like, it's going pretty quick now. So I don't know, maybe there's some sort of heater or something in there. Blah! Holy freaking crap. But anyways, 11 degrees already. What's the uh, 7 degrees on the transmission already? So at least that's above, like, freaking cold. I should have showed you that when it was first started, and we'll see what the temperature was. It would be probably around that minus 19. So, you know, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to have to maybe put this down because I'm shaking like some old man here. Oh, that's better. I am 14 degrees now. It's warming up pretty quick, isn't it? Transmission's 9 degrees already. Okay, that's crazy. I've never heard it run fast like that, though. That's interesting. It's like a fast idle. It's come off the fast idle. I guess it does it on its own. My tractors do that, too, actually. And I do have a tractor outside right now because I got that shed little building in the back side there. So I'm not going to do a cold start on that because I'm not allowed to down there. So anyways, I'm not allowed to show you that down there anyways. Um, brrr, but I guess I'll let this run here a few minutes and see uh, if she idles down or, or what. So, very good. Holy freaking crap, that's cold here. <laughs> oh, I can't quit shaking. It's terrible. Anyways. There was your, I guess we'll say, minus 19 Celsius. Whatever that is, Fahrenheit. It's pretty freaking cold. Um, cold start. And uh, generally, we don't get a whole lot colder than that. Oh, is it making any heat yet anywhere? Put her on there and take it off the feet, maybe. Oh. It's just lukewarm. <laughs> oh, oh. I kind of wish it had a, like a transmission temp. Oops, sorry. Transmission temp's cool and then, you know, oil temperature. But I wish it had like a coolant temperature, the current coolant temperature. I know it's got the gauge up there, but I think that's more like showing the radiator temperature rather than the actual engine coolant temperature. Because, um, Oh man, I'm glad the heated seats on at least. Oh. But uh, I mean, it gets warm, but then that temperature gauge there, a second from the left, is uh, stays cool for quite a while until you drive actually for quite a piece. So then it finally comes into the middle, right? But anyways, she's making a bit of heat. She'll be getting warm soon. But uh, yeah, we'll just let her let her run here for a few and you know get up to temp kind of thing, and then I'll shut her down again. It's kind of a waste, but uh, it's a good, good cold start day for it, that's for sure, because it is freaking cold out here. 25 degrees Celsius already on the oil, and 14 on, 15 on the transmission. I'll let her sit a minute and see what we get up to here. She got up to 51 so far, oil temp, and oh, zero, woo, 39 transmission temp. So I could probably drive it at that speed, uh, that temperatures now, but I don't need to go anywhere. So it's a cold start day, but let's see what happens if we put her in gear. It should idle down a little bit. No, it's still hot. It's or still cold. It says, let's warm you up some more. <laughs> Holy crap. One cold day, isn't it? Wow. But anyways, I guess it wants to get to a certain temp and then it'll kind of, you know, bring itself down on its own. Once you drive her for a minute, I'm sure it will come down. But... Oh, man. Anyways, better get to her. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. I don't know if we'll do any more cold starts. Like I say, it usually doesn't get a whole lot colder than like a minus 20 here kind of thing. If we do, it's you don't go outside. 
<laughs> Although I have winter stuff, but I hate putting on layers. Oh, I hate the non-movement of winter. It's terrible. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.